Y'all come cook a real Bahamian dinner with me. I ain't do one of these in never. <laughs> Clean your chicken, use your vinegar. Make sure you're getting there real good. Cut off everything that needs to get cut off from the chicken. And if you ain't cleaning your chicken, you're nasty. Lay them out. Make sure you wash it off now because you don't want no vinegar chicken. Lay them out. Look nice and tight and right. Use your lime. I heat my lime up because they was too hot. In the meantime, use your orange naranja waps. Squeeze your lime. And they was too hot for my hands, so I had to get my squeeze of lime dingy. And squeeze that on there. And I use all them lines as I should. Thank you. Mix up together real tight and right. And then add your seasonings. You got complete seasoning. Garlic powder, I think. Paprika. Slap your mommy. Black pepper. And your red pepper because I was too lazy to cut up gold pepper. Mix that in real tight and right and nice and ah, right? So you can look like that. Period. Now this, I cut up my onion to go on top of my chicken. And this is how you cut up an onion with sense. Do not be jacking up no onions, y'all. Please. And you know, I've been cutting a little while, so y'all got to excuse me. Do your slices. Lay them out on your chicken. Do the same thing with your bell pepper. Nice and tight and right. Nice and sexy. As my culinary teacher used to say. <laughs> and you do the same thing with your green pepper. And you use as much peppers as you want. This is your business, not mine. This is just what I do. Thank you. Mix that together. Get it all flavored. Cover that up with furl. As you should. And now I put no water for my macaroni. Put oil in the water. So your noodles don't stick. And add your salt for flavor. Turn it on. Let it heat up. In the meantime, I grate on my cheese. And I grate two blocks of cheese. Two four dollar blocks of cheese. Huh? Put your noodles in when your water comes to a boil. And in the meantime, I can cut up the next half of the onion for my rice. And I cut up celery as well. Because flavor, flavor, flavor. Now, you put your oil in the pan when your pan hot. You put your celery in. You let that cook down a little bit. Then you put your onion in. Right? Let that cook down a little bit. After that cook down, you add your tomato paste. Let that cook down a little bit. Nice and caramelized and all the things of the goodness. Then you put in half a can, half of this 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes. You let that cook down a little bit and nice and caramelized because this can give you your color because we ain't using no browning. Then you add your thyme. Use fresh thyme, y'all. I didn't buy none. Don't, don't judge me. Judge your mommy. Add your seasoning now. This is Maggie. You know, Maggie is good for the soul. Then your salt and your garlic powder because I just put garlic powder and everything. Mix that together and then add the rest of the thyme and that bottle because I don't know what I'm skimping for. Add your peas, half of that same can of peas. Mix that together nice, tight and right and let that cook down. Nice and nice. You see how that look? Then add your water. Y'all don't judge me. I still measuring rice. Please. But, you know, that's how it's supposed to look when you first add it in. Now, I'm checking on my macaroni noodles. They ain't nowhere and they're done. So, I cover that back up. Then... That's how your water look when it's time for the rice. You add your rice. And I ain't gonna lie, my rice was a little friendly, but that's besides the point. Now I know why I taste that. But my noodles done. So you add your noodles in the pan, spread them out so they could look nice and right. Right, right, right. Then you add your cream because you don't want no dry macaroni because I don't know why y'all is do that. Now, I don't put onion in my macaroni. That's just a personal preference because I like how it tastes. You add your butter and I like cheese whiz. Don't come for me. It works. Okay, add your egg. I probably should have added two eggs, but it's fine. Stir that together real nice and good. Mm -hmm. Add your salt and your seasoning. I tell you, I just put garlic powder and everything. Then you put your cheese to mix in the macaroni. Mix that in. And then you add more cheese on top because that's how you make a good cheesy macaroni. And as you can see, it was cheesing. Then I cover them up. I put my chicken in the oven and you know I had to take them them mitts off because I say I true to this, not new to this, and that's how they did look. But I put that mitten back on because I really wasn't true to that. Then I put the macaroni in the oven. That's how it did look so far. Okay. Testing the chicken to see if it's done. And that's how my rice did look when it was done. And you couldn't tell me I I I ain't put no brown in that. That's how the macaroni did look when it was done. And now that's me taking up the food. Okay. That's the rice, that's the chicken, and listen, it's macaroni. Yeah, yeah, she ate down. I know, I know. But I hope y'all enjoyed and like for more.